nerf. Hey guys, it's Zane Trusta here again, and I'm here with another video. Now, I think the last video I did was about a camera case that will fit any nerf gun, uh, which is sort of like a, um, a spin off invention from another man's idea. Uh, he used the old magazine ploy as well as I did, but he used it for a smartphone, like a Galaxy S3 or something like that, which is where the, I got the inspiration to do my video from. Because I did have an Optimus 3D, the old 3D phone. A bit redundant, really, that like people didn't really care for it that much, but it was a very good phone. It was actually, 3D worked very well, actually, it was very, very good, but without a 3D phone, or well, without a smartphone rather, then the whole idea was sort of, well, I can't do it then. But then I stumbled across my old camera, it was a nice thin little thing, I thought, if I do the same principle, but for that camera, maybe it could work. And I tried it, and obviously, as you saw in the video, it did work to a degree. I need to perfect it, but yeah. And with that idea became my new idea, the invention of the month. Now, I will try and make as many Nerf inventions to help the aid of warfare as I can. And this new invention is to dual wield two guns. Now, this is the old Stars and Stripes, an old gun that I made for Gaz ages ago. And here is the Star Spangled Shooter that I made as a new version of it because the detail on this I was appalled with. Ergo, recreating a classic video. And my friend Gaz, who generally uses the Stars and Stripes, wants to dual wield both. But, therein lies the problem, because with two Mavericks and two Strong Arms, you can do the old Primer technique, which is this one. The Primer Prime, as I call it. But because these two Primers are different in width and length, it makes it rather difficult in order to prime them the old way. So I needed an idea to prime them without any sort of issue. So, I sat down. Sitting there for 10 15 minutes, I had a drink while I was thinking, and then it dawned on me it was cheap, it was easy, and I didn't need to buy a new strong arm or Maverick and do the same to it. So I didn't need to recreate yet an, again another gun. All I needed was two carbine hooks and some cord with a dash of hot glue. You've probably already gathered what I'm doing because it's such a nice simple idea but I'll go through it anyway. You've got your two hooks, you attach a piece of string onto either hook and you glue the bastard. And this is what you get. Oh, grab it. You get yourself a nice two hooks with a nice bit of cord in the middle isn't going to come undone because of the glue. So we'll chuck that out of the way, we don't want that. So if we get the Maverick, we will attach that. And then we'll attach the strong arm. There we go. We have our two guns. And obviously it's a very nice simple setup. So... There we go. And there we have it. That is ha pretty much how the system works. It's nice, it's simple, it's easy, it's cheap as well. You better not be using my recycle bin! Better not be, I swear to God, if you are, I'm going to kill you. Okay, no, you're not. That's fine, you're using your own. That's fine. As long as you're not using mine, I don't care. I have a principle about that, you know. Yes. Um, it's nice, it's simple, it's cheap. I think I only spent about £6 on the two hooks and the cord. And the good thing is... Where did I put the cord? I think it's behind there, isn't it? There we are. The cord... I mean, I've got 30 metres of this. I mean, instead of just using it for this little invention here, I could use this for anything. I could use this for straps for rifles, like the long shot, the long strike, just to... If you wanted to have a, like, a proper loadout, you could have the long strike with some cord, attach that to your back. You could have the old tactical vest for the strong arm or the Maverick. 
and you and in the little zip pocket you can have a jolt or a triad with some ammunition in there and you can get yourself a good loadout not forgetting the old tactical vests have the sword pocket so you could have yourself three guns and a sword for one single loadout and you can use this on any any rifle, any gun, any rifle. I mean, carbine hooks work well with, with handguns, obviously attaching to your head, but cord will work very well for your rifles. Like your recon, your retaliator, your rampage, your raider, your long strike, your long shot, your stampede, your Vulcan, whatever. The cord works for anything. I've got a piece of white cord on the old Vulcan. So you can take most of the weight of the gun away from your hands and onto your shoulder where you can put some more uh, some more strength and you can hold the beast and you can just uh, like uh, what's his name? Sylvester Stallone does in the um, in those movies. Rambo Rambo movies. You can do that so you can do a Rambo. My god my memory's terrible. But yeah, uh, a nice simple idea and if you prime it at the right, I mean it's best to keep them pretty much horizontal to each other. Out of accuracy wise, it out of priming it that way, you can probably get between 85 to 90 percent, no, 85 to 95 percent accurate of priming them both at the same time. The only obviously slight hindrance is the fact that the primers are slightly different. If it was two strong arms or two mavericks, then it would be nice and simple, it'd be nice and easy, and it would both prime exactly the same. You're like, tsh, guaranteed, you're going to get about 95 to 100% worth of accuracy of priming if you use both of the same guns. But if you are using one, one and the other, then you're probably looking about 85 to 95%. So of all of those, one from the Maverick didn't go off. But yes, that is pretty much about my video. Uh, what time is it? It is 20 past 1. I've got stuff to do, so I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield and on the flip side. Uh, hopefully next month I'll have another invention of the week. I will sit down and start to think about what else I could do for the battlefield to make it more uh, efficient, should I say. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.